still Berlin was reborn. It was the women who started the painful work. They hoped their men would return from the prisoner of war camps to build anew with those bricks. Others combed the countryside, looking for food. The air raid sirens had stopped. The children could play again. For them, peace had already come. But there was never enough to eat. The Soviets refused to supply Berlin from their zone. It was America that came to the rescue. It soon became apparent that the Soviets wanted no four-power responsibility in Berlin. Their aim was to take over the whole city. In March 1948, they left the control authority. When the West issued a new stable currency in its sectors, the Soviets blockaded all access to West Berlin in an undisguised attempt to bring the city to its knees. The West took up the challenge. General Clay ordered an airlift. In the next 11 months, every ounce of food, every pound of coal was supplied from the air. The Berliners lived in a state of siege. Transport was severely cut. There was little heat or power. But where there's a will, there's a way. Every patch of green was used to grow food. Though the winter was dark and cold and the Berliners froze, they did not give up. Ihr Völker der Welt, ihr Völker in Amerika, in England, in Frankreich, in Italien, schaut auf diese Stadt. Their spokesman was Mayor Ernst Reuter, who had fought Nazi tyranny. On behalf of his people, he appealed to the world. Nicht preisgeben können. 